Hello guys and girls, Fox Raven TV here with another Fallout 76 video. And today I'm on my Strangler Heart Power Armor character here. And the nuke is about to blow. Um, so yeah, I actually didn't didn't mean to uh, to record while I was on the server, but I just joined the server and here we are. So do you guys and girls remember my bloody plasma? Uh, I mean Gatling plasma here with uh, the godly tank power armor build well this is the same weapon i just moved it over to my power armor uh, strangler heart power armor here so and uh, and yeah we actually put on the beam splitter so it's more like a heavy flamer and we'll be checking this out today alongside with the strangler heart power armor character here and just quickly our build is something like this uh, I will just go over them quickly here because the nuke is actually inbound and um, yeah this is just what I like to use uh, on my strangler hot power armor here and um, yeah there we go for the mutations we do have adrenal reaction bird bones egg hit a healing factor, muscle pain, scaly skin and speed demon we are fully fed because we are in perfect bubble gum and we just received some uh, well, uh, launch boxes, it, they're called. Yeah, launch boxes. But let's get to it. Let's uh, see what this weapon can do against the Scorch Beast Queen here. So the damage numbers are, well, not decent. 29 overall, with a lot of numbers stacking. 12 to the body. Nine to the face again. Oh, I actually went down for some odd reason. Oh, that is the uh, the fire. The, the uh, what are they called? The snappers. They are deadly right now because of the perk got not working correctly. Now I need to stagger. Oh, she already dead. Damn, that was quick. Eh, eh. I there's no plan that I can get from from her that I that I didn't didn't already have. Let's just drop that, drop that, drop that one as well. So yeah, we 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 dealt some damage, not not the most as you did see. Some of the buff characters did a lot of a lot more. But um, yeah, let's move on and see if we... Uh, there we go, Salmon Pond. I was like, why is there camp on the pond? But that was the wrong one. So we will see what this can do against the um, giant behemoth. The damage doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's as good as if it is without the flamer. Uh, for some reason. So uh, it, it seems like it does matter what you have on, because if we had the other one on, we would deal like at least twice as much, if not even more, damage to the Squash Beast Queen. But uh, yeah, let's go see what this bad boy here can do. Yeah. It's it's not great as you can see the the flamer is it's not great so yeah that is that let's go over and kill a few super mutants and then we will put on the not the flamer uh, thing here it acts like a flamer but actually it is a uh, a shotgun-ish thing because it does have the five bullets hitting targets it's not just the the flaming parts and I can show you that here can you see that project times are hitting they light up like the uh, the white greenish on the pole and when you see here you can actually see the 
bullets are hitting. So the flamer is just a side thing. It's it's not actually the uh, the thing that damages the uh, the enemies. But yeah, as you can see, the damage is low. It is really low. It is not because it's it, it, it's a shotgun, is it? No, I don't think it is. What we can do? Do I do I have anything here? I can s try to switch out. I might die here because I'm standing FK. I can go here and try to put on a shotgun. Your shotguns, no. Your shotguns do 10% more damage. Let's just pick that out. And uh, then take out the lock and loaded, and see the weapon here. So 54 times 5. Uh, shotgun, where are you? There we go. 54 times 5. So no, it's not the shotgun perks that will deal increasing damage on this one here. Sadly. I was like, this is low ass damage. And I still believe it is. We can deal way more without the flamer thing here. I thought I killed you. So yeah, not the not the greatest uh, mod for the weapon, that is for sure. So what we can do is actually go down to the nu nu Nuka, Nuka World, whatever, on tour here. And then pick on the other... Uh, what is it? It's, a, it's not the barrel. It's the... Um, uh, I would call it a nozzle, but but in this case, it's it's not. It's this one we have on now is a splitter, and I think I will do the focuser, and then we can see uh, the damage comparison here. A few people on Steam wanted me to make this video to showcase the uh, the flamer, the heavy flamer, but. Is this, is it doing anything? I don't I don't believe it is. I don't believe it's doing any good here. So what we will do here is we will put on the beam focuser here. I'm getting shot at. Get inside of the power armor before you die. There we go. Yeah, look at that damage difference. Holy smoke. Now we're dealing like 200 damage more, just like that. Yeah, look at that. Don't shoot robots in the head, they're resistant up there. You have to shoot them in the, uh, in the back, to be honest. Can do it in the front as well, but bag on the robots are better. Already took that. <clears throat> so we have to defend the wagon now. The wagon. We don't have many bullets, but I don't think we need it in order to kill this one here. I see a, see a few up there. Yeah, th that that weapon that right there. If you if you hit with the in the fusion car, you can you will one shot this one here. And they don't hit it, hit it in the fusion car, sadly. If they did that, they would one shot it. The, not even a joke. You will one shot these robots in the fusion car with a heavy sniper. <coughs> Plasma caster can do it. <clears throat> the enclaved um, plasma rifle with the sniper barrel on it can do it, and the gauss uh, rifle can do it as well. <clears throat> One shot uh, those things there in the fusion car. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy, it is. Eh. That's whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's get back to West Tech. And let's get inside of West Tech here. But this is more a comparison video, to be honest. And I have to say, <clears throat> right now, the the splitter is not, not a good, good weapon. <clears throat> Back when, uh, <coughs> sorry, back when le uh, legacy weapons was a thing, and the uh, beam splitter was the way to go. I remember that. Was that That's just normal super mutant? Oh well, yeah, I can see a mole miner down there. But yeah, I do. I do have the targeting hut on my power, my strangler hut power armor here, and it is amazing in my opinion. Yeah, the damage difference is, is that for sure. And not being able to die is a great thing. It is a great... Is that another? That's another mole miner. Right there, 500 and holy smoke to the face. That was incredible. That super mutant go. Oh, there we go. He is 514 to the face. Holy frick. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. These weapons actually deal a lot of damage. They're actually dealing quite a lot of damage here. I mean, look at that. That is 266 just to the body. I mean, look at, look at that. This is when you just want it to be easy. What the frick? Can, can he shoot through there? He should not be able to. We need to reload. Oh no. Oh no, the dog is gonna kill us. I'm gonna hit you. Another death from a bar. I sure like them. Nukes today. And I actually think we will do. Unless it's the Earl. The Earl. It's not. It's actually the Scorch Beast Queen again. So I think we will be in West Tech or, well, do something else. Maybe the Myla Queen. And um, then do the, uh, the Nuke Zone as well. Just to see how well this weapon actually does in uh, against the Scorch Beast Queen. I mean, right now it's de dealing a lot of damage. Holy crap. Holy crap, Baroni. Sometimes the bullets just don't re register. It's just a fallout thing. <laughs> right now, at least. It's, it's sad, though. But it is how it is. So let's get down to the Mile uh, Queen while the uh, nuke is unbound. So... If we look at the other video, right, with my um, my actually non power armor character that only uses the uh, used the um, what was it the ultra side power armor compared to uh, to this character here that uses the strangler heart, I do think I see damage increase with this one here. But it's not the strangler heart power armor that does it. I don't I don't believe it is because I don't see any poison effects on them. That's a good thing about the power armor here, is that I can look and see where that frig is. And there we go, she's dead. Yep, 
Yeah, the targeting HUD on power armors are just insanely good. I mean, it's it's berry mint. It's, uh, I mean, constantly. Look at that damage. Any, uh, oh, there's one down here. Don't see the king anywhere, though. Can we see the king anywhere now? The king is gone, I think. Where did he go to? Don't see any any dead or signs that he should not be here. Oh well, hidden. So he he must be dead. Let's uh, part down and uh, kill the uh, Scots Beast Queen. And remember, guys and girls, this one is not a buffed up at all character. This I'm just using this one. Every day, not every day, because I play on other characters as well. But I don't, I don't use buff characters anymore. I did at some point back in the days, but I just don't bother to do that anymore. I don't, don't want to go into my inventory and buff up and so on. I have them on my, my hot bar and so on. It's, I mean. If you if you want to deal incredible damage, you're doing it at public as well because you want to show off. That's just how it is. So, but there are plenty of other people doing the same thing. So it doesn't matter. Fuck, fuck no. I will show you. Look, look at that damage. Feeling hundred to her face, just like that. What are you doing? And as you can see, this build is tanky as as if as well. Not the. Uh, don't care about any of the enemies here. We just here to, to kill this coffee screen. Come on, land you stupid frick. Oh well, she will land again at some point. That's a school boss. School boss crap. Damn it, crap. <clears throat> I mean, that's that is a big shell, huh? I like that a lot. That's a good queen. Get closer here. Look me in the face, come on! It's really low here. What's that? That's your guy? Look at that damage. So yeah, the um, these the uh, splitter mod is not is not ideal for this weapon. That is for sure. Um, you want a flamer going glaive, I suppose. Don't want to PvP. Do I? No. He wants. He wants to. As you can see. <laughs> he got a... Chainsaw out. And that will kill most people. Just like that. A chainsaw is a beast in PvP, but now I don't care, I don't have anything he can get, so it's totally fine. But yeah, there you have it guys and girls, a uh, longer video than I anticipated, but uh, yeah, anywho, take care, and I will see you in the next one, bye bye.